got a couple of powders here, and these two powders are found, they are actually dipping powders, but I found just by accident by trying them out that they give a kind of like a marble effect when you use them and it's uh, quite an interesting effect so I'm just going to get some Monima on here on my brush I'm going into the the darker of the two and I'm going to place it on the tip and I'm just going to pat that out so that it spreads around and then I'm just going to brush that backwards into the actual nail I want to keep the sides nice and clean. I'm going to get some pink, the, next, the other pink, which is slightly a, sort of a lighter pink, but when it comes out, it comes out quite dark, as you can see. I'm just going to tap that into here. Now, what you can see is happening now is it's giving, course, although it's pink, it's kind of like a white effect is coming in as well. but it's leaving some pink visible and you get this sort of marbly effect on there which is quite interesting by just picking up little pieces and just dropping them where I'd like them to be I can get this like marbly effect on the nails without really doing anything at all. Um, drop a little bit in there. Just brush that backwards to the nail. What you can see, it's given this effect on the nail, which I find quite interesting actually. Just tap that in, just let it come down the nail, keep the nail pointing down slightly, just keep the side walls clear which is a lot easier to do on a real hand. Tap that out. Just brush that backwards into the nail. I'm trying not to get any on this this skin of this dummy hand because I don't want to wreck it. So if I was doing some demo nails that I wanted to do as a demo, I would actually do them on a little stand rather than try to do them on this hand. It's just so much easier to work with. back the darker colour first, tap it down and just drag that down the nail. So I'm just trying to get this kind of mixed look on the nail. You never know really what's going to come out when you do them, but that's part of the fun of doing this. It's going to be quite unique and it's what happens. 
keep the finger slightly down so that you don't get that running up to the cuticle. It's quite an interesting effect actually. See if you can smooth a tiny piece up and just put it wherever you think that you need it. Just to give an effect. Just a matter of playing with it really, see what you can do. I'm using the uh, Liz Gill brush here, which is one of my favourite brushes. And it's um, about a little bit bigger than a 12. There's not a lot in it, but it's just a little bit bigger than a 12. Now what I'll do now is I'll just let those um, dry off and then I'll give them a file over and then I'll put a clear over the top, clear powder, acrylic powder. So now I'll just work on these with my electric file just to smooth down the nails. Then I'll finish them off with my hand file. So I'm just going to get on with that now on all the nails. So I've finished these nails now and you can see uh, what I've done here. I've um, used these two products which was um, a Simply Dip. Where's it gone? Simply Dip and this one was called Oman. I've also used um, Simply Dip but I've used it with Monima and this one's called Germany. I've used this glitter, glittery effect here from uh, Evol Cosmetics and of course I've used a uh, clear powder over the top here and then filed it down and put on a, um, a no white top coat. These heart designs as you can see here, what I've done with those is I've actually airbrushed those on with um, 
you know, with the spray to give this little heart effect on here and the ombre or effect underneath and it all looks, I think it looks really nice. So this is John signing off for another time until we next do our next video and um, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.